A controversy. A simple way to kill off any person's career. Sometimes controversy can be funny to an audience to laugh at a person's stupid mistakes. But usually, controversy spells bad news for anyone. If you've gotten yourself into hot water before, you'll know what I mean. If you've been around on YouTube for long enough, I'm sure you've seen these crappy apologies from a whole bunch of different creators. Usually they are genuine, spark hating their fan bases, like my uncle, her but why do these apology videos make the circumstances worse? And how could people apologize to a large fan base properly in the future? Okay, let's get to the main point first. YouTube apologies are terrible. Surprise! And they are just a way to manipulate an audience. But they weren't always as manipulative and dark as what they are now. First major apology was uploaded in 2015 by Let's Player Peanut Butter Game as a way of apologizing for some stupid mistake he made within his Let's Play. Honestly, it's kind of more of a joke, just like on my YouTube channel feed at my school. Soon the style of videos spread, and it was very soon associated with its sincerity and being overdramatic. This can be seen in the apology made by beauty influencer Laura Lee. She was heavily slated faking tears by wiping them off the face when there were no tears to begin with. The point you all who have supported me for so many years. She also heavily played the victim card, saying that she was quote unquote forced to do it and is now one of the most controversial apologies on the platform. Apologies also seem to be a way to grab attention and use it as a way of self-promotion. If an apology was really genuine, then the creator would self monetize that specific video. Another form of apology that spelled disaster for an influencer was music. Now, I love music. You probably do too. And my uncle definitely does. But the apology video made by Miranda Sings is just disgusting. Apologizing in a 10 minute song while playing the ukulele. Even the musician stated that it wasn't an apology at all, and was just a way of refuting allegations, ruined her reputation, caused her to lose thousands of fans. Many people called her sick and mentally unwell, especially because of the allegations being about grooming of a young audience. Conspiring to ruin another creator's hard brought up image can also not be forgiven. In the controversy with Jeffree Star and James Charles, a YouTuber named Taddy Westbrook conspired that Mr. High Sisters here had committed predatory behavior in 2019. It's one of his favorites and he just loved watching me. However, a year later, she took back this claim but said that Jeffree Star had blackmailed her just saying such ruining acts. This of course affected Jeffree negatively and his apology was not much better than the rest of the people. Bringing up subjects such as Black Lives Matter and Charles rights within the apology was an obvious way of manipulation and deflecting the viewer's attention from the horrible things that he committed. Simply call James Charles and ask questions myself 100%. But not all apologies are awful, that's by what I'm saying. The most controversial apology is by far the Logan Paul apology. But I'd argue that it's one of the most genuine, as Logan actually showed change, unlike the rest of the creators I've mentioned. You see intense backlash from forming a dead body within the Japanese suicide forest. But he took the blame himself and didn't deflect at all. He kept the blame on himself. Severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. Despite the hefty amounts of dislikes on the video and the backlash she received, I believe this apology was much more genuine and sincere, which I believe is the proper way of doing an apology. But to further elaborate on proper apologies, it's really quite simple. It's not as complicated as selling items on eBay. I mean, seriously, how are you meant to do all this? Okay, okay, I got a bit sidetracked on, on tracking my order of crystal The creator should actually be genuine and show what they did wrong, and not change the narrative of a victim blame themselves to make themselves look better, when it will only end up making the situation worse. They must also be ready to take accountability and to accept any sort of consequences that may come their way, from losing thousands of fans to receiving incredible backlash. YouTube apologies don't have to be as overdramatic and cringy as what they are, just as long as a creator themselves takes the concept of an apology seriously. If you know of someone who needs to apologize, send them to this video. Definitely may help them as my aunt definitely needed after screaming it at the manager at Walmart. You watched the video the entire way through, so you enjoyed it. Here's another piece of content just like it. Take it with your knuckle.